Hi, this is Mandy with Scott LaRoy Marketing. Today we are going to show you how to accommodate document signing for a representative. So this would be like a power of attorney or a trustee that needs to sign for your client. And we are going to start from the point of view that you have already sent the documents through your KW rooms, through an envelope to the person that needs to sign. However, that person that would be a trustee or a power of attorney, they are going to have a legal document that specifies exactly what their signature should look like on those legal documents to prove that they are who they say they are and that they can represent who they say they represent. So what this is going to demonstrate today is how they can change that signature in the process of signing through DocuSign to make sure that they have it exactly how it should appear on those legal documents that they already have saying that they are the power of attorney or trustee. You as the realtor agent, do, you do not need to know exactly how it should be written on the document. They can change it themselves through DocuSign. So that's pretty convenient since they have, again, the legal document showing exactly how it should be presented. So we're going to start from the point of view that I would be the power of attorney or a trustee signing and representing someone else. And I've already been sent the, the envelope here, the documents through DocuSign from the realtor. So I'm just going to open the email here and click review. And as I open this, here we go. All right, so we are going to hit continue so that we can go ahead and review the documents and sign. And as I go over here to click start, this is where I'm going to be able to choose how we're going to change the signature. So I clicked sign, and then I'm going to click here where my signature would be. And this is where it gives me the options. So let's say the legal document that I have that is declaring me the power of attorney says that it actually needs to say test sample, which would be my name, first name, last name. And I, I believe I need to have a comma there. And for it to actually say trustee, I could put it there. Right. And I would come over here to the initials and I can make sure that it just says TS for initials because that would be fine for initialing. But in the signature portion, my legal documents say I have to have trustee or we could even say that um, like previously, like I'm a power of attorney. Or and we could say. Seller, seller, Lily. <laughs> All right, so that would be for our seller's name. And um, so power of attorney for seller, seller Lee. And again, make sure those initials are just representative of the first name and last name of the person. And then they can put their full legal disclosure, how they have to have their signature show right here. They still have the same options. You can draw, you can upload an already um, configured signature if they already have one designed. You may see that with like, uh, I can't even think of an example, but maybe um, for a notary that might already have a signature created or a professional that, that does this. So, or you can change the style over here where they can go in and change the font if they like. They still have all the features and options. So we're just going to go ahead and assign and adopt and sign this particular signature. And so we've done that. It's signed. You would normally hit finish just like you would. So this is again to be able to accommodate the document signings for a representative, someone that is in the capacity of operating as the power of attorney or a trustee. They do have legal documentation that they should already have stating they are that person, they are the power of attorney, or they are a trustee. And in that legal document, it will show them exactly how their signature is supposed to appear on any document or any legal document where they are operating in the office of that power of attorney or trustee when they're operating in that role. This keeps you as the agent or seller or agent or realtor from having to know exactly how it has to appear and allows them to make sure that that signature is exactly how it should be in the process of signing those documents. Saves you time as a realtor and then also make sure that your, your 
document has that legal signature from them and that they are covered. So if you have any further questions, we're going to drop an article in the notes of this video. This is a KW article from Keller Williams Regional International that goes over this step by step in that article and shares a little more information and also if you have any questions, you can always reach out to us at support at scottleroymarketing.com. And I do want to add one final note on this. If the signer needs to make a correction to the signature after they adopt it and sign, then the agent would need to resend that envelope if that person does not have a DocuSign account already created. So just to let you know, if they're actually operating on a guest feature on DocuSign, they don't have an account um, where they've signed up yet or anything like that, the agent would need to resend that envelope, okay? Because after that adopt and sign thing that we just did, once you adopt and sign with that, it's already done. You'd have to resend that envelope to get it done again, okay, or to get it changed after that. All right. Thank you for watching today. Have a great day.